Solve using properties of multiplication with factors up to 12. Fill in the missing number. Use the identity property of multiplication. Well, the identity property of multiplication means any number times 1 equals that same number. So if 7 times 1, well, that's going to equal 7. If it's 8 times 1, that's going to equal 8. If it's 190 times 1, it's going to be 190. If it's a million times 1, it's going to be a million. So 2 times what equals 2? Well, 2 times 1 equals 2. Fill in the missing number using that identity property. Well, 3 times 1, we know that 3 times 1 would equal 3 because anything times 1 is that number. Fill in the missing number. Use the zero property of multiplication. So zero property means that zero times anything is going to give you zero. So this number could be one, it's still zero. If this number was two, it's still zero. If this number was 50, it's still zero. Any number times zero is zero. So two times zero equals zero. So then three times zero equals you got it, zero. One times zero, well, does that equal one? No, because there's a zero. So zero times, one times zero equals zero. Ooh, this one's a little bit trickier. Fill in the missing number using the associative property of multiplication. So associative property of multiplication means that we can move these parentheses around and still get the same answer. So right here, our parentheses are around the two times one. But in this side of the equation, we shifted the parentheses and now they're around the three times two. So it'd just be like if we over here, put them around three times two instead, what would be left? Well, that would be the times one. Same thing, let's fill in the missing number using the commutative property of multiplication. So commutative property means that we can just switch the order of the factors that we're multiplying. So two times one is the same thing as one times two. Fill in the missing number using the distributive property of multiplication. The distributive property is a little bit different. So the distributive property is when we take the two times and it means we're going to multiply it by this part right here and we're gonna multiply two times this. So this would look like two times question mark plus two times one. So two times question mark, well what is that question mark over here? That would be three. Fill in the missing number using the distributive property of multiplication. So remember that the distributive property is where we take this beginning part and we distribute it or we, we multiply towards both pieces. So this would be three times two minus three times one. So if we look over on this other side, the three times two is right here, the three times two is right here. We have the minus, the minus, and three times one is what's missing. Fill in the missing number using the distributive property of multiplication. So remember, distributive, we take this beginning piece and we distribute it, or we multiply it times the numbers in the parentheses. So this would become two times three, and then we use whatever symbol this is, so that's subtraction, and now we would do two times again, but this time it would be two times one. So which piece is missing? Well, I see blank times three, so blank times three would be two times three. Nice work.